Today is a very exciting day. I'm here at the National Academy of Sciences building in Northwest Washington, and they're going to show us how their pendulum system here works. But first, take a look at this. This is a piece of art, and it's the cover to the system, and it was created by the same sculptor who did the atlas at Rockefeller Center, Lee Lorry. I can't wait to see how it's all installed. I followed Martin into the basement of the building where the first step of the installation process takes place. Do I look good in a hard hat? Let me know in the comments. Once we got through all the other maintenance equipment, we arrived at the lift for the pendulum's pedestal. Martin attached counterweights to help him raise the pedestal. Then he radioed up to his co-workers who let him know when to crank the lift. Seeing the light come through the floor as the pedestal was raised was really cool. But seeing the plate slowly rise from the floor and the main hall was even cooler. Once the plate is lifted enough, it is removed and set aside. Then the pedestal can be raised to its full height. Both the plate and the pedestal were made by Lee Lowry and are original to the building, which was built in 1924. Once the pedestal has reached its full height, a spectroscope is placed on top. A spectroscope is a scientific device that separates the different colors in a visible light source. However, this one does not work anymore because when the building's HVAC was installed in the 1960s, they covered the light source. And here are the non-functional controls for the spectroscope's settings. Now it's time to hang the pendulum. Here is the hook that attaches the 60-foot pendulum cord to the anchor at the top of the dome. To hang the pendulum, the weather conditions must be perfect. The building has a copper roof, which becomes very slippery when it rains, or even if the humidity is too high. I simply love how the stairs are built right into the dome. Being up here felt like something right out of a movie. To access the anchor, the very top of the dome's roof slides open, and inside you can see all the equipment that is used to hang the pendulum, including a yellow rope that is used to hoist the pendulum's cord up to the dome. After Martin showed me how everything works, I went back down to the main hall to see it in action. You can see the yellow cord being lowered through the opening and down to the people below. Once the rope has been lowered, the pendulum cord is attached, and then the cord is pulled back up, bringing the pendulum cord along with it. This Foucault pendulum is named after French physicist Léon Foucault and is used to demonstrate the Earth's rotation. The pendulum actually moves in a continuous plane, and the shifting of its path is caused by the Earth rotating the floor beneath it. At this point in Washington, D.C., the pendulum rotates 226 degrees every 24 hours but if the pendulum were at the North Pole, it would rotate 360 degrees in 24 hours.
Here's a close-up of the decorations on the base of the pedestal by Lowry. Each of the figures represents a sun god from different cultures all over the world and throughout time. And this little hatch opens to the inside and you can see down to the maintenance room. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes video of the National Academy of Sciences Foku Pendulum installation process. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss my next video.